Over the past few years, pickup trucks have gotten bigger, more complicated to repair, and the prices are absolutely out of control. I'm actually looking to finally buy a truck this year, but there's just no way that I'm gonna pay for an overpriced new one. While it would be cool to have a truck with the nicest leather and the latest tech, they're just too expensive. And I'm not gonna be the stupid one in this video. So what can you do if you need a truck, but can't afford to buy one of these $75,000 rolling debt machines? You buy an old used truck. So in this video, I'm gonna go to a bunch of used car dealers to show you 10 trucks that are cheap, easy, Easy to maintain and a heck of a lot of fun to own. All right, I'm here at Toyota and the first cheap truck we're gonna look at is this 2002 Toyota Tundra TRD off-road with four-wheel drive. I've got the keys that they gave me while I'm looking at it and I'm gonna take it over to the other parking lot and then I wanna show you why this is uh, something you should think about getting. And before I even move it, let me show you the first reason why this is a good choice for an older used truck. Without fail, every time if you put the key in it, it's just gonna start. Old Toyotas are so reliable. They always start every time, unless you got a dead battery, but that's not the truck's fault. And they're so easy to work on. One thing I wanna mention is, I'm actually gonna buy one of these trucks. And then we're gonna do a build series on improving an old truck to make it just as good, if not better, than those $75,000 new trucks that every manufacturer has now. So the reason this is one of the choices that I want to do or purchase is this is one of the most reliable Toyotas that they ever made. And let me show you what makes it so reliable. Pop the old hood here. Oh yeah, solid, solid door slam. And then you pull this, there's a little flap under here. And look at that. This is a 24 year old, 25 year old truck and the Toyota hydraulics are still working. This right here, is why this truck is so freaking reliable. This is the almighty 4.7 liter Toyota V8. These are known as the 1 million mile engines. And you can see that on 315 of 18 and 178,561 miles, they replaced the timing belt and the water pump and did that whole thing, which actually would save me about $1,000 because that's what dealerships will charge to fix it. So right here, this is super, super reliable and will last forever. I'll show you a couple of good things here. The paint is pretty decent. There's a little bit of chalkiness on it. That chalkiness can be polished out there are a few rock chips here and there this has never been in any accidents the body is super straight there's no really dings or dents anywhere a couple scuffs here on the tailgate that's expected it's a truck look at this interior it's got leather all the way around and there's no tears or anything in the leather same with the seats there's no tears the bolster's a little warm but it's still not torn the dash has no cracks the floor mat's dirty but underneath this carpet looks almost brand new this is top of the list in the comments let me know if you think this should be the pick or one of these next trucks that i'm going to show you now let's go look at an old ford i'm here at the second dealership they've got a bunch of used ford f-150s right Right over here and they got a few chevys over there talk to the owner he's a really cool dude it's a uh, pacific motors here in boise idaho but what i came here for is this old body style ford f-150 and what's cool about this it's the eddie bauer edition they had the eddie bauer edition on these old body styles and they also had a version on the old ford bronco i just think these are really really cool and it's kind of hard to find clean examples like this it's pretty rare especially with the cab top as well this is a another option that i'm looking at as far as buying at the end of this video because these old body style f-150s are just so tough so durable and they just seem to last if you take care of them um, this one has ford's old v8 engine and uh he did say i could start it but what's cool is i love uh i love this right here hold on you hear that click? That nice solid click, man, just makes these really, really cool. When I sit in this seat, I sink and it's like kind of holds me in. It's so comfortable. And I've got the keys to this one as well. Let's see if it starts up the first time, just like the old Toyota. That V8 rumble is so nice. That just sounds so good. It's like a nice low tone. I think that's kind of cool. That's a cool feature of this old body style Ford. We showed you the engine of the other one. I'll show you this one. We'll just pop this over here. I like how, listen, oh yeah. All these sounds are solid. Kind of like the old click of the old Porsche doors. Everything just sounds so much more solid on these older vehicles. <sighs> you 
I also really like how clean and straightforward the dash is and it's not too cluttered and everything is just like really easy and quick to get to. There are no cracked dashes. The headliner is really clean in this. There's no sag or anything and it has the manual sliding back window and the cool back seat bench. And if you want to fit someone right next to you, you can fold this up and you got a front bench seat. The only thing that I don't like on this one as much as the Toyota is it's harder to get in the back here. There's no access cab, uh, so you gotta fold the seat and climb back in. This is a 1996 Ford F-150 Eddie Bauer two-door truck, Pacific green clear coat metallic, five liter V8, fuel injected, with 162,555 miles. And I think that's actually pretty low for a truck this age. And they want $12,499 for it. This is a good one. Second choice. If you can buy an old Ford, do it. You can find one cheaper than this, but it's probably going to be in a little bit rougher condition. And if you want to step it up and pay a little bit more, probably find an old body style F-250 with the diesel engine. Some of those are as cheap as four or five grand, but they're really rough. They can go as high as twenty, thirty thousand dollars with super low miles. At least look for one that's been somewhat maintained. Try to keep it under two hundred thousand miles on these Fords. And then, of course, your budget is your budget. You can spend as high as low as you want. But I wouldn't buy the ones that are just super clapped out. But before we go to the next dealership, I want to show you what was parked next to it. This old Toyota pickup. These are really, really cool too. If you want to add this to the list, it's going to be super, super cheap. This one has a little bit of a lift. The paint is in excellent condition and it's got these neat black wheels on it with some good mud terrains. I think those are cool. These are also good options if you're looking to buy a cheap truck on a budget. On to the next truck. The next truck on this list is actually quite a curveball because it's not just one truck, it's three trucks. And instead of being full size, they're mid sized trucks and they're a little bit newer than the early 2000s and late 90s trucks that I showed you, like the OBS Ford and the first gen Toyota Tundra, because not everybody wants a full size truck and not everybody wants an older one that might need a little bit of work. So if you wanna be on a budget, you can get a little bit older mid-size truck. And here are three cool options for older but newer mid-size trucks that are still fun, cheap, and reliable or easy to work on. This 2015 Toyota Tacoma, this 2019 Ford Ranger, and this 2017 Chevy Colorado. And the cool thing is I was actually going to film each one of these individually, but uh, this dealer here in Boise, Idaho actually had three parked right next to each other. I'm going to go around each one and just tell you why I think they're good options for a newer, cheaper mid-sized trucks, because a lot of you have been asking, what about mid-sized trucks? What about used trucks? So. Here's three that I think are really good buys. So this 2015 Tacoma is my favorite pick out of all three of these trucks in the lineup. It actually is the oldest one and has the highest miles. This has 175,000 miles and is a 2015. And uh, I can't see how much they're asking for it because the tag actually fell out of the window um, and flipped upside down in the seat right there. I don't know if you can see that with the reflection, but it is very clean. They threw brand new KO2s on it and I don't even see any rock chips on the front, maybe just a couple right here. But the reason I think out of these three that this Toyota Tacoma is the best is no matter how many miles are on a Toyota Tacoma, as long as it was well maintained and just taken care of, this thing will run half a million miles or even more if you just take care of it. So buying one of these, even with high miles, don't let that scare you because it is a really good option and they're super reliable. The next is this Ranger. Um, it's a bit newer. If you wanted a newer truck and you really don't need a full size one, but you wanted to do truck stuff, this Ranger is a good option and it is a bit newer, super lower miles. Um, but let me show you how much they want for it. They want $33,995 for it and it has 29,000 miles. And if you go to a Ford lot, new Rangers have been pretty much impossible to find. I've never really seen maybe one or two in the past several months at dealer lots. So the second they get there, these Rangers are gone. So these Rangers are in very high demand and for a lot of good reasons. They're the perfect size. They're a little bit more reliable than I'd say some of the turbo F-150s. The, the turbo F-150s kind of have their own set of uh, issues there to, to work with. Plus you're gonna get a lot better gas mileage in this Ranger and they're just fun little trucks. And at 33 for this 2019, it's not gonna break the bank. You're not spending 65, 75 on a new overloaded full-size truck. And this one even has the FX4 off-road packages. And the aftermarket provides a lot of cool stuff for these to lift them and 
do fun off-roady things. And that brings us to the Chevy Colorado, which is also a Z71 off-road package, four-wheel drive. So up here in Idaho, it's better to have four-wheel drive. You don't wanna get stuck in a sketchy situation, but this is a 2017, really pretty like purplish blue color. And this one's actually a lot less than the Ford Ranger. It's a 17 with 95,000 miles and it looks like they dropped the price. It was 23,495, but this new sticker says 21,495. So even with 95,000 miles, this is a really good option. But to be honest, again, out of these three, even though that Toyota has 170 something thousand miles, I would still choose the Toyota as the best midsize affordable truck option if you're gonna go down the used truck route. Now let's go look at the next used truck. For this next truck, we're stepping back into the full size and we're going a little bit newer than the OBS Ford and the 2002 Tundra. And that's gonna be this second generation 2010 Toyota Tundra, which also has the super reliable V8 and this is a really pretty white color. It does look like it's two wheel drive. And I think these are a very good option because they weren't the most popular of the Tundras. And that's because they had like this really weird, like kind of bubble style look that some people like, some people didn't. But the cool thing about these is because they're a little bit less desirable of a model, some of them are a really good price. This 2010 is 196,000 miles and they're asking 9995. So just like 10 grand. And the interior, from what I can see, looks really, really well taken care of. And so does the front end. You got a little fogginess on the uh, headlights here, but that happens a lot to these older vehicles with the plastic headlights. But these Tundra, no matter what generation of Tundra you buy, it's pretty much gonna last forever as long as you take care of it. And this is a good option if you're gonna want a full-size truck that's a little bit new, has some of the more modern creature comforts, but you still don't want to break the bank. And speaking of full wheel drive, second gen Toyota Tundras, we found one right here. Um, and this is a good example of the popularity of four x four truck in the North where there's a ton of snow. This is the same generation as that two wheel drive that I showed you just down there, 183,000 miles. So around 10,000 miles less. However, this one is about $9,000 more at $18,995. Still has the V8, but it is the TRD off-road package and brand new KO2s. You just have to decide like if you're gonna buy one of these second gen Trendras, do I wanna pony up uh, for four wheel drive or save $9,000 and go with that two wheel drive that I showed you earlier. This next truck is also full size and a little bit newer and more modern, but it's a really, really good bargain that I think a lot of people overlook. And that is this 2015 F-150 XLT with some nice Toyo tires on it in a beautiful white color. So I think this one gets slept on a lot. It has 156,000 miles and they want 18,995. So around $19,000 for it. Um, but I wouldn't be too afraid of the mileage because it does have a really good V8 engine that is super easy to work on. And the trick is with these, you just wanna make sure it has a good Carfax history with good maintenance records. So if it was well taken care of, belts and serviced, oil changes, any gaskets replaced that needed to replace, there's not a lot of oil all over the thing. I would grab one of these and instead of paying $65,000 for a new XLT. You can get this one for under 20 grand and still have a ton of fun in this older F-150. And here's the thing with these used F-150s, if you like to get a little bit fancier and you want a higher trim level and full wheel drive, then you can actually grab this 2019 F-150 Lariat package with four wheel drive and only 77,000 miles for $28,995. As you've seen in my other videos, a new Lariat, it is like $68,000 dollars and that one is under 100,000 miles and again if this is well taken care of and you want a newer vehicle I would check out one of these pre-20 models pre-covid model f-150s because a lot of the ford trucks and a lot of these other trucks in general after 2020 got a lot more expensive because it was more expensive for these manufacturers to get the parts and that kind of ran the prices up as well so for a full size newer used truck this is a perfect choice if you need all the bells and whistles and four wheel drive here's a used truck i thought was interesting for you guys and girls with uh, bigger budgets this is a 21 
F-150 Raptor with some rigid lights and some aftermarket fuel wheels and KO2 tires. But one thing I noticed about this is when I go look at the brand new 2023 models, 24 models that are on Ford's lot, they're around $95,000, but I would say skip a brand new one. This 21 only has 25,000 miles and it's 71,995. So if you have a bigger budget and you want a newer Raptor, grab one that's just like two years old with some miles. And it looks like with this price, you're gonna save over $20,000 on a Raptor. Just thought that was interesting. And I know we're trying to talk about cheaper trucks, but just kind of an observation that I saw with that Raptor. Okay, I got one more really cheap old truck for you. Let's go look at that right now. All right, I finally found one that's at the top of my list uh, to buy. So I said at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna buy one of these trucks that I found. It's a competition between the 2002 Toyota Tundra, the old body style Eddie Bauer F-150, and then that is a first gen Ford SVT Raptor. And this, out of all the Raptors, has got to be my favorite. I like the new Raptor R, but that's unobtainium, 150, 60 grand with markups. And honestly, it's just ridiculous and not worth that price. If you want the V8 in a Raptor, grab a first gen with the 6.2 liter. And this one in particular looks really good with the SVT wheels, has an aftermarket front bumper and some lights on it. Um, Go America right here, heck yeah, brother. Pretty, pretty blue shining in the sun and the sun is a uh, little intense today but this first gen raptor is kind of a heck of a a deal because these first gen raptor v8 engines are super reliable very powerful and just really easy to work on and it's just a hell of a fun time to drive one of these trucks and to be honest you know here's a newer raptor with the EcoBoost, and then over here they have the you know even newer version uh latest version of the raptor right here but I think the first gen is still slept on. It does not have the EcoBoost motor. And so let me tell you how much they want for it. There's no sticker in the window. This is a 2012 Super Crew. They're asking 27,588 and it has 127,000 miles. So instead of spending 75, 85, $95,000 on one of these newer Raptors, grab this and Here's the main reason why, because I've got the keys. Let's start it. And a uh, shout out to Ozzy's Car Co here in uh, Garden City slash border of Boise, Idaho um, for letting me play around with this. Just unlock it and take a step inside. Oh, look at that, how nice that is. I love the interior of these things. They're super simple to the point. The seats are comfortable and you got a ton of leg room back here. But of course you get a really nice V8 engine. And uh, let me show you. I love that V8 sound and I love that it's under 30 grand. I'm gonna buy one of these trucks that I showed in this video and I'm gonna round it down to three of them. The choices are the 2002 Tundra, the old body style Eddie Bauer edition F-150, and the third choice is gonna be this blue SVT Ford Raptor. So let me know in the comments which one you would like me to buy and then I'm going to actually reveal in the next video which truck I bought and what I plan on doing with it because we're not gonna keep it stock. We're gonna make some uh, adjustments to one of these trucks to make it even better than even like buying a new vehicle. So stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button on this video so as many people can reach it and we can show them some cool used trucks. And I'll see you in the next video where I reveal which truck that I bought.